the woman who was crying like cancel him you gonna turn our boys gay she also was very disrespectful to Lil Nas X calling him like not even a man or whatever and then like our boys gonna be gay you not a man you can't tell nobody else that they not a man Ooh, but ouch tell the truth shame the devil but um that devil you believe in so hard but um it's also this idea of like even within our homes and how we are family dynamic our, our ideas of family dynamics is very much uphold the status quo. It's like you're going to get you're going to get targeted if you don't have kids. You're going to get targeted if you have kids and you want to raise them a certain way like not to spank them, right? That's the status quo things. People fought me on that. My family members fought me on that. I'm like, motherfucker, these are my kids, boy. You better they do what I tell you, you to do when like, it comes to it. Fight you if you're in a relationship, and even if it's a, a domestic violence situation and a child abuse situation, you Call marry. Me out of my name. You bro. marry, you should stay together. Please keep this idea of black love that we wish we had, that even the reality of what it was wasn't that idea anyway. It's like this status, it's. <laughs> it's the status quo and I was in a similar kind of situation but very different but still not healthy especially not for a child and it's like uh, like like we want to hold on to the status quo so bad and that shouldn't be other people's problem that's a that's an individual indication of of hurt pain trauma, trauma and a need for healing Straight up. And that's all I'm going to say. I'm not here to uphold the status quo. I'm going to look at what's really happening in real life and the effects of it. I saw the effects of the baby, how he was reacting when he was getting spanked on a... Anytime you can't fall asleep, you're getting spanked. You know you have to sleep every day. I mean, you really shouldn't just be hitting a kid every day. No. Like, something has to change. And also, it didn't work, obviously. But when you see the child, like, getting anxious and biting his nails, like... That's not what we want to create in our house. Mm -mm. And we didn't want to continue to do that just because, oh, well, this is just what we're used to. Like, I've had my little brother was born. I was almost 10. And I was like, oh, you did something dangerous. You could have hurt yourself. Now I'm going to hurt you and spank you. And my mom was like, Monty, you can't just spank him for everything. You have to teach him. Exactly. <laughs> I was like, oh, that makes sense. And that's only something you learn. When you have multiple kids, all right, and right. he you, was the and, last one, my and you didn't mess up two or three of them, okay? <laughs> and that is what happened to my older siblings. All right, so, you're like, man, look, you're like looking back, well. spanking didn't work. My relationship, look, it's it's hilarious, okay? Because I just want to tell y'all real quick, and we we're about to wrap this up in a minute. My, you know, like I said, my family was really fighting fighting me on spanking him. Be like, but you know, you're not gonna discipline him. You're not gonna discipline him. You're not gonna discipline. Him. I'm like, bro, like. Just because I don't spank him doesn't mean I don't discipline him. Right. And he is more disciplined with me there than he than he ever was with them. And I don't spank him. And I haven't spanked him for years. <laughs> All right? Years. Like, literally, the, the relationship that we have, he knows that I have the best interest, his best interest at heart. And even if he don't want to do something, if I ask him to do it, he'll do it. If I, if, like, I'm, if I'm like, Niaji jump, he'll be like, how high? All right? Because he trusts me that much. And that's why he tells me everything that goes on in his How life. How high? <laughs> he, he, he won't even think about why he got to jump. He's, he's just going to ask me because that's trust, right? That's love. He knows that I'm looking out for him. He knows if I'm telling him to do something, it's something that's good for him. And I tell him that. And I, and I, I let him make decisions. And I ask him about what he thinks and about what he feels and about what he wants and about what he needs. All right? I, I'm not about making him whatever it is I want to make him because that's not my place. That's not my job. My job is to teach him everything that I know so that he can make the best of himself so that he can be what he wants to be. I didn't create these kids because I want them to be X, Y, and Z. I love kids. All right. And I love the process of uh, creating kids. 